one good, one bad. Um, I'll go through a few bases and I'll tell you a good thing about the base, a bad thing about the base, and hopefully, if I go through enough bases, you'll be able to learn how to construct your own good base. So, my own base, one good thing, high level sentry. Um, one bad thing, um, if they get past the main maelstrom, they there's no more security nodes apart from the sentry. Um, but the base has been working pretty well for me. Moving on. Start from the higher levels. Um, one good thing about the base, high sentry, and uh, it looks like it'll spread at a reasonable rate. One bad thing about the base, um, uh, it looks like a good base to be honest. Apart from the fact you can get the resources from this end, uh, maybe they don't want to lose rep. Um, I I've seen the resources, uh, I've decided to take them. I don't know why though, because I can't really protect them. But when your finger clicks, your finger clicks. Mm, I didn't particularly want to lose that. But, uh, easy money, easy money. So yeah, it was a good base. I'm assuming he didn't want to lose rep. Okay, next base. Bad thing, three high level sentries. Absolutely no need for it, for that. Um... The choke point here is good because he's got a guardian adding to the firewall of the turrets as well. Um, yeah. A lower level base. Mm. The scanner's quite low and he's only got one gate up front so most people can wraith through and portal basically basically anywhere they want to so it's not very good for stealth um what's good about this there's no real choke points either choke points are poor nothing really positive about that base For level 34, his sentry is not high enough. He's got a good level sen uh, scanner though, and two gates, which will help prevent stealth from getting too far. The, well, more than one good thing. The choke point seems nice, um, but it's very important his attack priority here. Because if it, if it attacks the right guardian first, then you can just get to the resources. A lot of people don't take a note of their attack priority, so it can cost them later. Mm. Scanner is reasonably placed, but um, all these security nodes are kind of badly ordered. And you can shuriken straight to here and use a protector. Hmm, this base, interesting maelstrom, but upgrading too many sentries, there's no point. And the resources aren't lined up in a way that um, will make it difficult. As soon as they get to the core, it's very easy to get all the resources. They need to rework that.
again le leveling two sentries. This is a goodish choke point with the turrets and the guardians protecting the turrets. Uh, one shocker though would disable them for at least four or five seconds. It's always good to have a black ice on a choke point to break protectors fast rather than seeing them go down and have your attacker uh, protect it from breaking. Thirty-nine. Let's see. <laughs> Very poor sentry level. Um, once I get here, I can shuriken onto here and just do high DPS with uh, six slots, depending on how fast the sentry spreads. Mm, you won't spread too fast. However, the the resources are protected better than the last one I spoke about on choke points even though the, the sentry has four slots but still is a level one sentry so no firewall mm, here the code gates are in bad positions so that anybody can portal anywhere they want to basically you need gates at the front because gates need to be wraithed. Wraiths cost visibility. If they're not wraithed, then someone uses access on them that costs even more visibility. That means they can't get as far in your network when they're trying to use stealth. Hope that makes sense. Mm, let me show you another one. 200k. Good level sentry, good uh, scanner positioning. These uh, turrets are quite low level. I would get to that turret, then shuriken across to here, then shuriken across to here, and I'm basically at the back. Very shuriken uh, uh, vulnerable there. All right, let me show you some higher level bases. Which obviously will have different vulnerabilities. Well, I'll start with my base first. My base has a high scanner. So you have to have high stealth and if you do you're going to use all of the stealth on the wraiths the wraith of the gates but you still have to deal with uh, the guardian core choke which I'm sure you've all seen from my other videos and the uh, resources are spread out so they have to go in different directions which takes coordination some bases you probably haven't seen before this guy One of the original players of the game, I believe. His network is messy, which put, puts people off. Got high level scanner. Um, he's got guardian core choke. His resources are all over the place as well, so you have to go in different directions. It's a good base. Uh, needs coordination and uh, maybe even a big screen to see everything. How um, many negatives? Mm, I'm not sure good base if you're level 12 maybe something to copy I mean core 12 maybe something to base your base on mm. man like Alex only four gates only two guardians you can shuriken across to here and do high DPS so that kind of defeats the point of a choke this maelstrom can get messy so it needs coordination to keep nodes because there's high level antivirus and uh, sentries back there. But uh, also, no black ices. So protectors last. Solid snake. Mm, gate positioning means stealth 
will have difficulty getting around. He spread out his resources. This isn't a great idea because if you can shock up the guardians, then they're useless. And he's put the guardians on the scanner. He should have put something else on the scanner and make those guardians protect it, like the core or high level black ice, you know? Have a look at this space. Uh, he should have got at least one of these sentries to level 21. There's no point in having two uh, level 16 to 18 sentries. You need one at level 21 because the damage it does is 131 strength per hit per connection. And from at this level, a level 16 to 18 sentry does like maybe 75 damage so that's almost half so it's ridiculous and he's level 60 63 when by the time i'm level 35 on my second account i'll probably have a level 21 sentry well we'll see x x x x x x let's see what he's got Uh, low level gates at the front, high level scanner, which means it's anti stealth. But look at this shuriken, shurikenable base. Um, he's protected the core with triple guardian, you can't bypass it. There's only one way to the core, I think. Yes, it's not bad, it's not bad. Mmm, Curticus, my old nemesis. I'll show you one more base after this. Messy bases are always good, it puts people off. From this angle, it looks like his uh, resources are quite close to the net connection. But you need to go around the triple guardian core choke. Everybody's doing it now. But you can bypass it if you uh, ram this gate, shuriken round take out the guardians and you've you gone past it uh yeah so shuriken vulnerable and finally i'll show you this fellow discordian if you haven't joined the discord make sure you do that first look at his base um good level scanner Okay, he's upgrading at the moment, so it's not going to be his optimal. Uh, this Marshall is messy. There's a code gate in there. You could do the code gate and then shuriken across here. Protect that. And yeah, there's a turret in there. I would make that a black ice to break protectors on the scanners, but yeah. Not a bad base. So those are some thoughts on some bases, high level, low level, based on that, try and um, make your own base. Feel free to post screenshots in the comments and I'll review them and other people who watch these videos can review them too. Well, thanks for watching, um, enjoy! It.